I saw this TikTok where a guy was analyzing which letter of the alphabet would make for the best home floor plan, and I had to do it in The Sims, obviously. Let's do the letter K. So here is the letter K shell that we're gonna be using today. Now I have done all the previous letters in the alphabet up to the letter K so far. So check those episodes out if you want to. Now, if you are new to the series, I do add a little bit of a twist to the shell challenge. And that is every single letter of the alphabet I furnish with an aesthetic that starts with that letter. You guys left your suggestions on what we should do for the letter K and it was basically unanimous. We're gonna be doing K for kawaii. And of course, I am now accepting suggestions on what we should do for the letter L in our next episode, so leave those comments down below. If you aren't familiar with the term kawaii, it's a Japanese term that basically encompasses their culture of cuteness. It can refer to people, pets, objects, even clothing style, or in this case, a house aesthetic. Basically, just anything that is cute, adorable, and just lovable in general. I am so excited to do this one, you guys, so let's hurry up and get started. Okay, here's what I have come up with. Now, when I tell you that the diagonal walls caused me physical pain, it, it really did, so just bear with me here. This is the best that I could do. Up here, we're gonna have our kitchen, which will flow into our dining room. At the bottom here is gonna be our one and only bathroom. The top section here will be our bedroom and the bottom here will be our living room. And I'm also hoping that we can somehow incorporate some sort of like gaming office or something. Let me know what you think of this floor plan and let's get started on our kawaii K-shaped home. I'm planning on incorporating a ton of pastel colors in here. So I think that it would be best to go for probably a light wood floor like this one, just as a base. And for wallpaper, definitely something from the pastel pop kit. I want to incorporate a ton of pink color in this. Let's work on the kitchen first. So for counters, I think I'm going to go in with these base game ones. I haven't used these in literally ages, but I think there is no better time to use this pink color in these plain modern ones. For fridge, I want to use this really cute pink one from the Cottage Living Pack. Now, I know the pinks are kind of clashing, but I think I might trust the process because if we clash enough pinks, it might actually work, if you know what I mean. We're gonna see. There's also this pink stove top from Dream Home Decorator, which is perfect. And let's try out a couple of these matching base game pink cabinets. For natural light, I want to go for a more plain and modern looking window, I think. Maybe just these classic white ones from Realm of Magic. Oh yeah, that's looking so good. I think the two tones of pink is actually working really well. Now I just want to go in with some neon signs from the high school years pack. This bright pink one that's for the boba shop, I think would be really cute along this fall. And then I want to take this pink heart shaped one just above the stove. For decoration, I found this cute little purple monkey that I'm going to size down and then hold the control nine key to bring it up onto the counter placing it right in the corner there. Oh my gosh, it's so cute and goes with the color scheme perfectly. Oh my gosh, I also found this little toaster clock with a face on it. Basically anything with a cute little face on it fits under the kawaii theme and I have to include it. And since this person probably likes bubble tea, I think it'd be a good idea to include the tea maker. For overhead lighting, let's go in with these mason jar ones from Parenthood. I'm trying to remember if we have any rugs that have like a cute little face on it or anything, but I don't think so. So I might just go in with this little biscuit one from the pastel pop kit because this is also just super cute in general. And we'll finish off this kitchen with one of these super cute trash cans from the pastel pop kit. Oh my gosh, I have to use this one with the little kitty face. That's so adorable. And here is our pretty pink kawaii kitchen all done. I love how cute and adorable all the decorations are. And I'm pleasantly surprised with how good the mismatched pinks look. So I'm glad we trusted the process with this one. I need to trust myself more. I guess we should move on to the dining room since it's just right here. Now, first things first, I just want to add in a little bit of natural light with these windows. And I'm not sure if any of these tables are particularly jumping out as kawaii to me. Maybe this cute modern one from high school years might work. And for chairs, just grabbing the matching ones from high school years as well. I mean, it definitely looks cute. There's no denying that. Maybe we can decorate it with these adorable plants from the Blooming Rooms kit. That definitely at least doubles the cuteness factor in here. I just placed this round fluffy rug from the high school years pack underneath and then grabbed this light fixture from the tiny living pack. I've actually never used this colorful swatch before, but the colors in this light actually match the colors in this room perfectly. So I just could not pass that up. Now I think I want to go in with some curtains over here. For curtains, I found this one from the Seasons pack and it came with this bright turquoise color, which is absolutely perfect for this. And I am positive I've never used this swatch in my entire life. So now it finally has a time to shine. And then I'm just gonna decorate these windows with a couple more of these neon signs. 
And here is our simple yet kawaii dining space all done. I love how clean and just happy it looks. It also flows really nicely with the colors from the kitchen, especially with the pinks overlapping, but the introduction of the turquoise color kind of helps ground this space as its own thing, if you know what I mean. Now let's move on to the bathroom. So I did make the bathroom just one row bigger because we had the extra space. And I will admit I have been neglecting the bathroom space in basically all of my alphabet builds so far. So it wouldn't hurt to make this one just a little bit bigger. I just changed the walls to this light green towel from the Growing Together pack and a similar color towel from the High School Years pack. Now I want to go in with hopefully a shower and a tub. This shower tub combo from the Parenthood pack actually matches the dining room color scheme literally perfectly. It's kind of weird, so I think I'm going to use that one. And for sink, I think I'm going to grab the same ones from the kitchen and make a long vanity counter. Okay, I just changed the shower and the counters to more of this bluey green vibe. I just didn't want the entire build to be only pink. So I thought the bathroom was a good opportunity to dedicate to another color. For the mirror, I'm going to go in with this wavy one from the pastel pop kit. And now I just want to go in with a bunch of kawaii decor in here. Here's the bathroom all cluttered up. I used a lot of items from the bathroom clutter kit. And this plant from Discover University has these super cute little faces on it. I absolutely love it. I also put some windows in here for natural light but I was sure to put some curtains for privacy. I think that's all I really want to do for the bathroom. I might just want to put some clothes on the floor here, mainly because I kind of picture a younger sim or maybe like a teenager sim living here and they're just a little bit messy and haven't learned to pick up their clothes yet. Wait, I also want to include this super cute cat with a nice little face mask on. It would literally be a crime if I did not include this cute cat in my kawaii bathroom. Like I would be citizen arresting myself but anyways here's our kawaii bathroom all done i think it's super cute it looks really youthful i love all of the bright colors it just looks happy and adorable and i mean i love a good neutral color palette but i kind of wish more bathrooms looked like this nowadays the left side of the k is done which means we are halfway through so why don't we move on to the bedroom and I don't know about you guys, but I just realized that I do this, but every time I start furnishing a bedroom, I have to pick the bed first. It's almost like the bed sets the tone of the entire room. So for some reason, I just gravitate towards picking a bed before anything else. I'm thinking of either one from the pastel pop kit or something from the high school years pack. The pastel pop kit has some really cute patterns like these ones with flowers on it. Like I absolutely love that, but high school years does have this particular swatch with this cute little like anime girl on it. So I feel like we really can't pass this one up. It's literally perfect. Maybe we can use the rug from the pastel pop kit so we can still incorporate some of those vibes in here. This pink checkered print rug from the pastel pop kit is literally perfect. Like I want this in real life. It's so cute. And I'm just gonna put two of these right next to each other to make one large rug. For end table, I'm gonna go with these two white poofs from the tiny living pack. And I kinda wanna use this pink lava lamp from Strangerville. I don't know, I think it adds a really cute vibe. Now I did mention that I wanted to incorporate a cute gaming setup into this house. So I think I'm gonna grab this pro gamer desk from high school years and just put it in the corner there. Oh my gosh, the turquoise purple and pink glow coming from that desk is literally perfect. I'm obsessed. And then I have to use this ultra wide pink gaming streaming setup from high school years as well with the matching gaming chair, of course. I'm like low key kind of jealous of this gaming setup. It's actually perfect. I'm gonna grab this cute anime poster and put that on the wall there. And then I have to remember to also include some bedroom essentials like a wardrobe or mirror. Okay, this has basically turned into a complete like high schoolers expansion pack bedroom, but I'm not really mad at it at all. Now I do wanna add in a couple of plants or greenery. This vertical garden one from the Blooming Rooms kit is super pretty and just slots in right there perfectly. And I'll just stack some of these base game hanging clothes in the corner here. We have a really long blank wall here and I think it wouldn't hurt to give them like a nice big huge flat screen TV. The sim who lives here is obviously into video gaming and anime and I'm sure they're the type of person that likes to put on their favorite anime and fall asleep watching it every single night before bed. And if you're wondering, yes, I'm talking about myself. I am that person that watches anime every single night without fail. And for the rest of the wall, let's just fill it with some posters, maybe some of them from high school years, or maybe even some of these decals from the kids room stuff as well. 
Here's the wall all decorated. I even included this little Sims Plum Bob poster, which I love. I also cluttered up the desk a little bit with some items from the Everyday Clutter Kit, as well as this makeup from high school years. And I also found this perfect lavender color poof from Snowy Escape. I'm gonna finish it off once more with these clothes on the ground. Again, just to signify the youthful Sim that lives in here. You know, they're too busy at playing Sims. They don't have time to pick up their clothes, okay? We've all been there before, don't lie. Ooh, wait, I think it would also be cool if we added these fairy lights just kind of dangling underneath the television. Okay, at the last second, I just realized that I've been kind of boring and I've stuck with the same wall color throughout the entire build, basically. So I think I'm gonna grab this two-toned one from the pastel pop kit and just go around the bedroom like so, just to add a little bit of variability in the color palettes. The general tones are the same, so it's not like it's super drastic, but it just makes it look a tad more interesting. And with that being said, here is our finished kawaii bedroom. I absolutely am obsessed with the color scheme in here. It's definitely giving cute. It's definitely giving adorable. I love the anime bedspread and all of the decorations, and I can definitely picture the cute and cozy Sim who lives here. On to our final room of the K. Here is going to be the living room, and we have a pretty decent space going for us here. We also have to include our front door somewhere in this room. Why don't we put the front door right at the end here and then we can have like a true entrance foyer area with like a console table and all that. Let's grab this lavender tiled accent table from the pastel pop kit and then grab this super kawaii mirror to put on top. This one is literally perfect. And for whatever reason, I'm compelled to use this like sad face one. I don't know, even though it's sad, it's just so cute to me. I'll place some shoes underneath and then just clutter this up with a bunch of essentials from the everyday clutter kit. I'm also happy to report that I think I just found the cutest entryway rug in the world. It's this cute cat one from high school years. I cannot think of any rug that would be more perfect for this build. Here is our kawaii entrance all done. I absolutely love it and I think it's gonna flow really nicely into our living room. For couch, I was considering a couple options. Firstly, this really comfy boucle one from the new book nook kit. It just feels so cozy and there's some nice pastel colors that I think would work. I also think these mini couches from the pastel pop kit are also giving kawaii. And lastly, maybe any of these couches from high school years could also work just because the color palette. I really love these two couches. Tell me why the two couches that come in kits are phenomenal and this one that comes from an expansion back is just not giving. Which is kind of awkward because these two couches come from $5 kits and high school years is like a $50 expansion pack. But anyways, I think I'm gonna try and make both of these work if I can. What if I made this one the main couch and this can just be kind of like a side accent couch? It also helps to kind of separate the room here since it is very open concept. For the rug, I'm thinking of grabbing the same one I used in the bedroom just in a different swatch. And I know usually for rugs, you want them to be bigger so that all of your furniture pieces are touching the rug. However, for this kawaii build, I kind of want to make it feel like smaller and cuter and compact in a way. So to create that illusion, I'm going to go for this rug that's arguably too small for the space. This holographic coffee table from high school years is perfect and it also ties in with our bedroom gaming setup. And let's give them another giant flat screen for the wall. I don't know what this sim does for a living. I guess they're a streamer, but clearly they're a very successful one because they have two flat screens in their home. And then I wanna grab these nano leaf lights and create a designer on the TV. I really like how that looks. I also included some of these gaming consoles on the ground. Yes, I put it on the ground because we have to remember that this sim is really young and maybe they don't have have, like everything in their life together, okay? They don't really care if their gaming consoles are like messy and on the ground. They just haven't gotten around to buying like a media unit yet. I also wanna add some of these pastel blue records over here in the corner just to make it look a little bit messy and casual. And then let's add some greenery to this space. I like this plan from movie hangout stuff cause it's very like voluptuous. And then this one from Tiny Living is also a great way to add just like simple greenery. I also thought it would be nice to include just one end table here by the couch. This one is from the pastel pop kit so it's gonna blend in seamlessly with our color palette. I cluttered up the end table with some items from the everyday clutter kit. I've used a ton of clutter items from that kit in this build. And then I also put this base game like overhead fan. I don't know, I wanted to put something on the ceiling but I didn't want to put an overhead light because I think there's enough light in this room already. 
Now I'm gonna add this purple fluffy rug from the Snowy Escape Pack just to add a little bit more of that cozy vibe. And I also included some of these simple paintings from the Tiny Living Pack as well. And that's gonna be it for our kawaii living room. I absolutely love the color palette. I love how comfy and cozy it looks. I also like how it kind of ties in with the decor in the bedroom so it feels very cohesive. And I used a ton of objects like this rug and this couch that I've never used before. And with that being said, that is our kawaii k-shaped home all done i absolutely love how it turned out you guys you guys know i love neutrals okay and i think this is the most bright and colorful and pastel home i've ever done in my entire life i love how even though we went with a really bright color palette it just seems to blend in from room to room and it's really fun that i got to include a lot of really cute objects that i normally wouldn't have used i think my favorite rooms in this home have to be the living room and also the bedroom they're they're just so out of my comfort zone but show so much personality and as a fellow person who loves pink purple, pastel, anime, and gaming, I would definitely love to live here. But what do you guys think of this home and do you think the kawaii gamer anime aesthetic is for you? Also not gonna lie, I was absolutely dreading doing the floor plan for the letter K, but this honestly turned out to be one of the most functional floor plans out of all the letters of the alphabet. Like we were kind of able to use the awkward angles to our advantage to make an interesting shaped room. But let me know down below which letter you think has the best floor plan so far. And also don't forget to let me know your suggestions on what theme we should do for the letter L. I can already tell that this floor plan is just gonna be straight up boring. So I'm gonna need a really cool theme to spruce it up. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it or if you want me to continue this series, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys all for supporting my channel and this series. I would not have gotten this far in the alphabet without your guys' support, so I really appreciate it and I'll see you guys all in my next episode. Love you!